instead of keeping you in an illusion, instead of keeping you in your life for a whole lifetime, somebody is pushing you towards ultimate reality from an illusory state. So soon, they're making you realize this. He cheated on me! He must be punished <laughs> What kind of punishment do you normally give to people? <laughs> Already enough fun punishment has been given, isn't it? <laughs> the ugliness, the nastiness, the silent treatment, everything has happened. So what more punishment do you want to give? Your thing is there is no remorse on the other side. There is no remorse on the other side because people are doing what they want to do, not what you want them to do, always. And that may not be in your interest, but they're doing what they want to do. Is it right, wrong? I'm not going into the morality of it. I want you to understand the mechanics of the situation. Somebody is doing what they want to do. Now you think they must be punished. Probably they have not broken any law, otherwise they would be anyway punished. They're breaking an understanding between two people. Probably you misunderstood the understanding. You believed that these understandings are absolute. They are not. Nowhere in the history of humanity or today or in any time in future will human relationships be absolute. Though every person who gets little romantic believes that this is going to be an absolute relationship, there is no such thing about it. A relationship is a variable, always. You have to conduct it on a daily basis. One day if you don't conduct it properly, it may go somewhere. You have to conduct it right. So, no, I am doing my best. Obviously, somebody feels your best is not good enough for them. No, I want you to come to terms with this. This is not about… I am not saying what they're doing is right or wrong, that's not for me to say. All I am saying is, this is how human beings have functioning for ages and still are. I am saying, first of all, you need to understand Relationships will never ever be absolute. You need to understand this. A relationship is a variable reality. It is not an absolute reality. If you want to have an absolute relationship, you must hold relationships with the dead. That is the reason why a lot of people choose God, because it's an absolute. You can handle it whichever way you want. If you didn't think of him for ten days, and on the eleventh day if you think of him, he's still there. You do that to your husband or wife or somebody, something else will happen. So if you want to have an absolute relationship, you should not choose human beings. Human relationships are variables, needs lot of attention. So that's why some people decide in their life, they don't have the time and the energy to manage such things, so they take another path where there is no such obligation. They close their eyes, they're by themselves, they don't care who is around them, what's around them. So you can't do that. I think it's best. In trying to punish somebody, you will only end up punishing yourself. They're doing what they want to do. It's best that you see what is it that you really want with your life. You don't have to react to them and do something stupid like them. You just have to sit down and look at this. When your illusions are broken, you're disillusioned right now. It's a very good thing. If your illusions are broken, that means life is bringing you closer to reality. So this is an opportunity for you to sit down and see what is the nature of my life, why is it? See, this piece of life is a complete piece of life. Why is it that it feels so incomplete that it needs another person to fill this life? If this is a full life, this is complete by itself. But right now, you made it in such a way that this cannot exist with that one and that one, without that one and that one and that one. So somewhere it's an incomplete life or at least it has not realized the fullness of its nature. This is a complete piece of life, packed with creator and creation together. Very great combination. This is a time when life knocks at your door like this. It's time you look deeper rather than reacting and trying to fix somebody else. Punishing somebody else is not going to transform your life, not going to make your life beautiful in any way. Some sick satisfaction you'll have for two days, after that you'll feel guilty about that also. Initially when this emotion is hot, it gives you satisfaction, after some time when you look back, you'll feel ashamed of yourself. So don't go that way. This is an opportunity. 
somebody is opening up a spiritual dimension for you, really. Somebody is making you realize how fragile all these things are. They can cheat you, they can run away, they can divorce you or they can fall dead. If they fall dead, you wouldn't think that he cheated me, but whichever way you denied, isn't it? The important thing is you denied something. How he did it is not the problem. He denied you something either by death or divorce or cheating or whatever you call it. But essentially you got denied. You can be denied only because you are in a certain illusory state of believing that this is half a life and it needs another half from somewhere. No, this is a complete life. If you blossom as a complete life, you will see relationships will be of a completely different nature. It will be more of coming together and sharing, not of extracting. It has to transform. If it has to transform, you have to transform. This is a great opportunity somebody has given you. Stop using this word, somebody cheated me. Just say somebody is pushing you towards ultimate reality from an illusory state. We must thank that person. <laughs> must be grateful. Instead of keeping you in an illusion, instead of keeping you in your life for a whole lifetime, so soon they're making you realize this. Otherwise you will know this at the time of your death. You'll know at the time of your death, when you're dying, I'm scared, why don't you come with me? You'll say, no <laughs> For that last moment instead of knowing, it's better to know now.